What's up, peeps? How you doing? It's Audrey Jean, and it's in July. Yay! Oh yeah, hey, June went so fast. Okay, um, as you can see, I'm on the title. They're all. I'm gonna be showing you some game recommendations. And these game recomm recommendations. Just a warning: these are for Xbox 360 and PS Vita. Sorry, no PS3 or Wii. Um, I would have if I. If I didn't. I sold the Wii, sold the DS, and I don't have 3DS, and I don't have PS3. I might get PS3 later, so I have all three consoles. But yeah. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna be showing you Xbox first, and I will be telling you why they're good games, and then yeah. All right, first game. Cha ching It is Forza Motorsport. Um. This game is pretty fun. The Kinect sensor of this game is. Okay, uh, I, I don't really, I use the con, I mean, the controller. Well, first of all, my connect's broken now, but even before, um, like, you have to move your head, it sometimes it'll jam up, and then the, it's just, it's kind of dumb just doing that. Rec I just recommend you don't. But, yep, yeah, um, it's a fun game. Um, if you are in real, if you really want to do racing, this is probably the best, uh, Xbox racing game that I think there is. And also, they have an auto vista thing where you can like look in these fancy cars. But yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And some of those games you can like flip over cars if you go super fast, but it's hard. Okay. Next one. If you just started uh, the Xbox and you don't, you're not really used to controllers, get either one of these games. Uh, very fun. Uh, this game's kind of old, but very uh, fun for a level game. This game's a, a lot more fun, I think, because I like Batman and DC superheroes. Um, this one's a lot. Sorry, this one's a lot more free realm. Uh, you can play Superman, Wonder Woman. This one, er, this one is actually very fun too. Um, but yeah, and they're coming out with the Lord of the Rings one this December. I might get it. So yeah, I like Lego. Battlefield 3, very cooperative, or not cooperative, just a very fun game, kind of like Call of Duty. Um, the multiplayer, you'll, you can do, use a lot more uh, vehicles, which I like. Um, the campaign's okay, it's kind of short. Um, they're making a 4 soon, so make sure to get this. Or, I don't know, it's coming out maybe two years, or a year. You guys probably have heard this one. Very good game for the Xbox. Um, the online now it's too late. I mean, if you were if you're just starting and then you go online, you're gonna be kind of a goner. It might take you a while. I do, but they have a spec ops thing. It's survival, just like zombies, except with hostiles and stuff. I don't. I got this a little. I mean, I got the launch day, but I'm still stuck at it. I I I only played the Black Ops, Modern Warfare One, and this, and I'm still terrible at the multiplayer. So I played Special Ops, and I've got up to round 30, so it's, you might as well do, yeah, and, and the campaign is actually okay in this game, um, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's, the ending's a little cool and sad at the same time. Halo Reach, really old game, uh, well not really old, but you know, it just came out like two years, three, three years ago, wow. Uh, the online's still fun in it, you still could have a chance. Um, campaign's okay. If you want, if you're just looking for a campaign, get Halo 3. It's only like a dollar now, and the campaign's a lot more fun. But online, the firefight, it's all really fun. I still play it. I mean, there's a time when, so you play it for six months, and then after that, you get sick of it. And then after that, um, later, like another like six months, you want to start playing it. And then you just play it, like, not constantly, but just like for fun. Skyrim, uh, addictive, it's a role playing, free realm, you know, uh, I like it okay now, I, I've tried, I know the key, I'm a vampire, but I can't, I know what the key or how to get the cure is, but I just can't feed on people, it's just, it's kind of annoying, and they're also coming, they already have a DLC out for it, so you better get it, here's Batman on Arkham City, uh, I think one of the best Xbox 360 games, uh, uh, if you look on the award, if you, there's a channel, or on the TV that they're uh, giving out character awards, and Joker on this game won a uh, character award, or best character award. Um, 
This game is very fun. They were they have cool. Yeah, they have three DLCs that you can buy, and then one that already comes in here. It's the Catwoman. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. And also, you can do the campaign, free realm, Riddler challenges, and yeah, it's a fun game. I finished it a long time ago. I still play it. Alright, now we're transferring to PS Vita games. The four that I very well recommend, I'm going to go by Age Order. Sorry, I'm just going to go by. Okay, um, first one, nice and happy. Any age, very fun game. Um, a, you can go through all the features of PS Vita. Um, it's only one millibyte. Doesn't take too much. Uh, yeah. Um, it's very fun. It sometimes annoys me because of the rolling feature, like the rear touchpad. I'm not like the that. Yeah, but I still play it. It's fun. Um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Just got it to er. A day ago or something like that. Yeah, and I've been playing it a lot. It's very addictive. Um, sometimes it gets annoying because I, um, but it's super fun. I like playing as a Marvel people. I don't really know Capcom that well, but I just like playing as Marvel mostly. Yep. And then they have, I think they have a DLC for two characters, and then you don't really have to unlock any characters. You can just play as any of them. But yep, they have like a new people like Iron Fist and some new keys. So yeah. Um, Uncharted Golden, this top game, you should, like, top, if you get the PS Vita, this needs to be your first game to get. Has 32 levels, action-packed, uh, very fun game, it's a shooter, adventure, yeah, it acts as, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get through. And here's the last game I'm going to be recommending to you, Resistance, uh, this is the only game I play online, except I have Wipeout 2048, which I'll tell you inside. Uh, this Resistance is a very fun game. It's even though this is rated M, I mean only the alien. They don't it's, the graphics aren't too well, so it doesn't scare you. And it's not that horrifying, but yeah. The guns are cool. They have all these cool features. The graphics like they could have done a little more better, but eh, whatever. Um, there's not too much memory, just two MB. Uh, if you guys barely like, have four gigabytes, the Uncharted's a uh, 63 MB. So, I I'm doing a video, mom. Shh. And then, um, okay, sorry. Um, and yeah, and then you can shoot around with all these cool weapons. Um, they have a campaign and and also an online. Yep, yeah, and uh. The guns are really cool in this game, but yep. And this is 2MB. And then one more game um, I have downloaded on my PS Vita. It is Wipeout 2048. Very fun game. I suck at it. I can't figure out how to get good at it, but if you're like really good at video games, you figure it out. Um, and that's all for my videos. Goodbye.